Okay, so the problem we got here is a, uh, a cell method problem. Um, we're going to be rotating this function here, y equals 1 plus x squared over 8, around the y-axis. Okay, and using the cell method, I've got it written here, when you're rotating around the y-axis, this is the formula you want to use. Uh, the shell radius times the shell height with respect to x, here's my 2 pi. Okay, and your shell, in case you're not very familiar with this, your shell is, uh, you know, you, you create this rectangle here, you can put it anywhere you want in this region, um, and you imagine this, this little rectangle going around the y-axis and creating a shell. Uh, based on that, uh, the circle, or, that, or the shell that it's creating as it's going around the y-axis, uh, the radius of that uh, is going to be some x value. Okay, so that gives us our shell radius. The shell height is this one going up and down, and uh, it's going to be determined by the difference between the function and it looks like the x-axis. Okay, so the shell height is going to basically just be this function, uh, y equals 1 plus x squared over 8. Okay, so we put that into the formula here. Uh, this is going from 0 to 2, in case you can't see my markings there. So 0 to 2, shell radius is x, shell height is 1 plus x squared over 8, all with respect to x. Okay, so you uh, can do this, distribute this to x to the function there, so you get x uh, plus x cubed over 8 dx. And Go ahead and take the integral, so it's 2 pi uh, times x squared over 2 plus x to the fourth, bring your 4 down with that 8, and it becomes 32 uh, from 0 to 2. Okay, and plug in your limits real quick here. Keep the 2 pi out front. Uh, your limits, first plug in your 2. Uh, 2 squared is 4, 4 over 2 plus 16 over 32 and then plug into your lower limit, 0 plus 0. Okay, so that gives you 2 pi, 2 plus 1 half, 2 plus 1 half is 5 halves, so you get 2 pi times 5 halves, 2's cancel, and you get 5 pi. 